Hi there, my name is Jack and I'm just going to show you today how to correctly assemble a uh, silverfish underwater housing. It's a couple of things you need with our housing. Uh, firstly, it's a black and white or any um, waterproof sheet. This can be used to prep it on, to keep your surface nice and dry and clean and also to, if you're done with it, to throw it over the silverfish housing to protect it from the harsh sun and sand. Secondly, you need a towel, uh, especially when you're shooting in salty conditions, just rinse it off with nice, clean, normal tap water and then give it a wipe. And then you need the silverfish housing. Uh, there's two main things about what makes the silverfish housing so unique. Uh, first, firstly is you have a big display on the outside where you can see your picture. And secondly, you can use over here, you can, uh, you can manipulate in your functions of the camera as well. You get the focus and you get a zoom. And you can switch it on and off, record on and off, and also switch the camera totally on and off if you're not using it. Uh, this housing can take cameras up to 120 centimeters. Uh, there's over 100 cameras that you can fit in here. Um, and what we're going to use now is an HC9. Uh, preferably a camera that's got a line C out, remote control, uh, otherwise you can't, it voids the back uh, function buttons. Right, HC9, small camera, preferably always use a long life battery because you don't want to switch your batteries halfway underwater. And then also very important, have a camera with a wide angle adapter. Why? Because this wide angle adapter flashes the camera nice and tight against the front element and it stops it from moving around in the silverfish housing. Okay, now there's a camera. The silverfish has got three main cables. Your first is your half moon AV cable, which sends a signal to your LCD screen so you can see picture. Uh, secondly, very importantly, is your land C, the blue one. They're all color coded with the camera. Uh, the blue one, that uh, makes you control the functions on the outside. And then thirdly, you got a sound cable as well, which will give you little mumble, bubble sounds inside the underwater housing. Right. So, what you'll do first, you'll get the right position. This you'll have to do a couple of times just to fit it in so it flashes uh, against the front element. I've already measured this so it goes in nice and flush. Uh, this needs to be screwed on nice and tight so the camera doesn't move. This is done. You can start putting on all your different cables. There's the AV cable. Always watch this cable so it doesn't lean against this element over here, otherwise it'll cause friction and then you'll get break up in your, in your video signal. Secondly, you'll put in your land C. And thirdly, just for the sound, you'll put in your sound cable. And then if all is done, screw it on a little tighter. And then switch on your camera. There we go. Always see if there's picture first and make triple sure before you go in the water that these triple A batteries at the back are charged and full. Otherwise, if that goes down, you won't see any picture at the back. So just before you insert the camera into the solver shading, just turn it upright. This will make it much easier and safer, especially for the cables on the side, so they won't pinch. So then you'll very easily insert it, check the cables regularly so you don't pinch them. And then if it's in, there we go. Cool. And then the clips on the side, always cross clip it. First click that clip, then click the one opposite that one, and then so you follow that closely. And then that's the silverfish in the silverfish housing.